I'm pleased somebody from the Labour Party, one of the grandees from the Labour Party, has come forward to explain the uh, problem about uh, the Labour Party getting into power at the next election. And uh, Lord Kinnock has put his thumb firmly on the issue. He says that although there is a 20% lead in the polls, it's not the same as the swing that would be needed to guarantee a, a, an effective majority to govern the country. So uh, he has said, and, and, and I think it's, I think it's um, a rather good comment, he has said, the furthest I would go now is to say we're not going to lose. That's not entirely the same thing as winning, and I entirely agree with him. I think there is no possibility... Um, there is no possibility in the Conservative Party winning the next election. There could be a hung parliament. I think that's unlikely. I think the more likely scenario is that there will be a narrow victory by the Labour Party because anything greater would require a swing that we have not seen in more than 100 years. In fact, the, the size of swing that has never been recorded. That is possible, of course. That is possible. But that would suggest that the uh, population is swinging towards something rather than away from something. And although there is the adage that um, a party loses elections rather than a party wins elections, I think it's not enough to guarantee a swing sufficient to ensure a large or a working parliamentary majority for the Labour Party at the next election. I think the more likely scenario is that the Labour Party will just squeeze through. And that means, unfortunately, there are various scenarios at play. One is that the Conservative Party pull themselves together in some form. That may be by a lurch to the right and come back um, re-energised in a very short space of time. Two, what I think is more likely is that the Conservative Party, in opposition, fracture further into two parties, one of which would loosely conform to Richard Tice's Reform Party, and the other would probably dissolve into a, a moderate version of the current Conservative Party, uh, again, not quite as conservative as the days of Norman St. John Stevens, but it would be it would be recognisably uh, the Conservative Party of old. And that may have difficulty defining itself alongside a resurgent Liberal Party, a Lib Dem Party. Uh, I, think we're go I think we could find ourselves more likely in the destruction of the modern Conservative Party and uh, the assurance that the modern Conservative Party will never again hold office. Uh, will never be big enough again to hold office. Which means either we're in a position where um, the Labour Party has effective hold on government for the foreseeable future, or proportional representation comes in in some form which would allow a variety of coalitions to assemble. Because I don't think there would be another coalition, for example, between a Tice-led party or a Farage-led party and an old Conservative Party, and the Lib Dems, which I think is what would be required to defeat even a modest Labour majority at the next election, not the, not the current coming election. So, lots to think about, but uh, Lord Kinnock is absolutely right, and looking very well, by the way. Uh, although, of course, given the gigantic scale of the gap between ourselves and the Conservatives in 2019, he said, and the size of the swing that will be required to give us a majority, a bare majority, it does mean that anyone who is taking the possibility of a Labour government with a working majority for granted is a fool. There are plenty of those.